Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a little while, but I've been taking a break. I've been pretty busy, so yeah. Today, if you couldn't tell on the title, we are going to be trying out this face mask. I got it like a couple weeks ago, but I've been busy. So I'm actually really excited to try this out. I have said this in other videos, but I'm really excited because I love packaging. If the packaging is interesting, I really want to buy it, I probably will. And this was a single-use face mask, and I got it at TJ Maxx for $6.99, so it's pretty expensive for a single-use like face mask. It's going to be a rubber mask, apparently rubber firming mask. It comes with a cap. This is like an applicator you put on your face, and then the cup, obviously. And then it comes with this Shake and Shot rubber mask. Um, this is the super booster part of it. And then you're supposed to like pour it into the cup, so that's why it comes with a cup. And then this is the firming liquid. I don't know what the last word is, but. So I have the cup, and I'm going to put the cup here so you can see me pour it in. And I'm just going to squeeze it into there. I feel like I poured just like half of it accidentally onto my calendar. This is why we don't do it on our school desk. In the cup, there's about, there might have been a little bit more if I didn't pour it all on my desk, but there's about a quarter of stuff of liquid and like face mask in this. Okay, I put the lid on and it just says to cover like the baby holes, the baby's mouth um, with your finger and shake it. Shake it like a cocktail is what they said. So like you can tell that um, it was liquid and now it doesn't feel like liquid that much anymore. Oh whoa, that has this really satisfying. I don't want to put too much. I feel like everybody in everybody that I've seen do this puts like a ton on all over their face. And of course I get on my hair. Even though I pulled my hair back. By the way, if you guys have any I, any um, YouTube video like specific that you want me to film, I definitely can. Because I have um, like three post-its. They're on top of each other. You can't see all of them. But of I, like ideas, I'll see you when this is all dry. Okay, so we're back. And now that I'm like realizing, I'm touching it so it looks like it's wet, but I'm realizing I probably should have put more because it kind of looks patchy, but I'm going to peel it off and see if my skin is firmer, more firm. So like there's like a residue almost, I feel like, um, on my skin as I'm peeling it off, but this is honestly so satisfying. Now that I've officially taken the whole thing off, I definitely can say that there does feel like there's definitely like an oily residue. I do have oily skin, but you know, the way this mask is, it explains a lot why there's this residue. And my skin does feel like tighter around here and kind of around here. You know, it could just be me imagining because I did have a mask on, but I kind of feel my skin looks nicer um, a little bit. I'm really unsure if I would really recommend buying this, but if you um, look at my Instagram, you follow me on Instagram, I will give you an update um, in a couple of days and tell you if I think that it's worth it. Because I feel like you need to um, wait a little to see the difference. So I will update you and get back to you. Thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. And... Comment down below or DM me on Instagram any of your ideas for new videos, anything you want to see. I love to make videos, so I'm really down to whatever you want to watch.